On today's episode of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog, I'm trying to avoid a little bit of burnout. Unboxing of a new pair of shoes. I have decided to apply for the New York City Marathon. Why, you might ask. Okay. Adios. I'm gonna make a very declarative statement here. I'm a morning person. Stupid dog. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Welcome to episode 62 of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. My name is Aaron, and it is a great day for a run. I'm out here on an early run. Once the sun comes up and I have a little more light for the old GoPro, I'll uh, talk a little bit about what's going on, but uh, it is wonderful weather right now. 50 degrees. Nice, it's hard to see in the dark, but Audi activities. I don't know what the lighting is like, but we got the Christmas lights. It is so nice outside, honestly. This is awesome. Oh, finally. Bad dog. Nice. Like the arrogance to just park there every day. Block the sidewalk, whatever. Okay, a little bit lighter, although the sun is not gonna come out. I don't think, I think it's cloudy today. But anyway, it is so nice out. This is awesome. Little windy, hope you can hear. Hope you can hear the, the audio, but Oh, this is great. So I have a eight mile easy run today. It is Tuesday. Yesterday I just wasn't feeling great. Stomach, my stomach was acting up. So I took the day off, but I'm back on a Tuesday getting eight miles in. So I'm trying to be a little bit mindful of my fatigue level right now. There's a, a fine line between like getting a lot of miles in in the off season and then like getting overly fatigued. I don't want to cross that line. I'll cross that line when I get to my marathon training, but right now, I just wanna stay relatively fresh. Just trying to avoid a little bit of burnout as I, uh, as I try to maintain good endurance during the winter. Nice. It's hard to capture a lot of the cars when it's dark because the GoPro's just not good, but it's been a bad day for drivers just annoying i'm so annoyed by this i guess i should mention if you're new to my channel if you're one of the subscribers that has joined the fresh brew run club this is my weekly vlog i just document my training i just bring my gopro along with me and you know cover what i see and unfortunately i see a ton of people driving like reckless idiots and it has become a theme in my vlog anyway though i try to keep it positive so back to the run on this beautiful day oh it's so nice out all right y'all i'm gonna wrap this one up great run the difference the weather, the temperature makes is astounding. I think it's supposed to get cold again at some point, so just gonna savor this while it lasts, but really, really great run. So anyway, that'll be it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for an easy run. Yeah, it's Wednesday tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you then. All right. Good morning, happy Wednesday. It is a great day for a run, although it's actually not a great day for a run, and I rarely say that, but we had a bad storm last night. There was hail, there were tornadoes, uh, and now the wind is like 50 mile an hour gusts. So yeah, I'm not gonna run today. I have already hit my mileage goal for the month of February, so I don't feel the pressure to like run a ton of miles, but I did wanna do something today, and that is an unboxing of a new pair of shoes that I got, I'm gonna adjust my camera because it's really low. Okay, that's better, this is a very tall box. Um, but I got a new pair of shoes. Uh, this should not come as a major surprise to anyone that follows my vlogs, but I wanted to unbox these on camera because unboxings are fun. So this is what I got. You can see the brand there. Ooh, my books. Oh boy. Open these bad boys up. I got. The More V4. This is my fourth pair of New Balance More V4s. I found a great deal on these, so I wanted to pick up yet another pair of them. Um, I have made a bunch of videos about these, so if you're curious and you haven't seen those before, uh, check out my channel. Um, I have a lot of different reviews and comparisons of the More V4, but I really, really like this shoe. What I wanna use that to talk about is basically my shoe review strategy. So you might ask yourself, hey, you make videos reviewing shoes. Why do you keep buying the same shoe over and over? Why don't you review a different shoe? Well, 
because my shoe review strategy is solely focused around what I actually want to run in and what I actually plan on running in. So I, with any shoe that I buy and I review on my channel, my plan is to run at least 300 miles in it, right? And that means I do far fewer shoe reviews in a given year, but my main priority is being comfortable on the run. I more so want to focus on my training and the weekly vlog and, and that sort of thing. The shoe reviews I do are just kind of a, a side effect of the content that I make. So if you see a review on my channel, just know my plan, my intention is to run a ton of miles in that shoe and I will continue to make videos. I think I made a 500 mile review of the original Nike Invincibles. I made a 300 mile review of this shoe. So I'm gonna keep running in this. I did just put out a video previewing some shoes that I'm excited about for 2024. None of those have come out yet and it looks like they probably won't come out until at least the second half of the year. So I'm going to keep finding stuff that I like that I know is going to perform for me such as the more V4 and I'm going to keep running in those shoes. So it means I don't do as many shoe reviews but I also enjoy running a lot more and that's the number one thing for me. If I'm not enjoying running, if I'm not enjoying the videos that I'm making then what's the point of all of this? So that's a little insight into my strategy. Uh, very excited. I love this color. This is a really cool color. This Robin's egg blue with Look at that, just a little little pop of orange. So that's that. I will also be back shortly today uh, for something I'm really excited about, something I just kind of decided on a whim to do. Um, so I'm gonna talk about that, but yeah, excited about it. So uh, I'll see you in a couple seconds. All right, so I'm back. It is uh, a little bit later. The second thing I wanted to talk about today is uh, the New York City Marathon. So if you follow my channel, you may know that I am planning on running the 2024 Toronto Marathon. That's gonna be the thing I'm training for. It's at the end of October, like the 23rd or the 24th. That's what I'm focused on. However, I have decided to apply in the lottery for the New York City Marathon. Why, you might ask. It's two weeks after Toronto, like two marathons. Well, it is very hard to get into the New York City Marathon. So I figure if I apply every single year, at some point, maybe I'll be able to get in by the lottery. Uh, it's not easy. A ton of people apply. It's definitely one of the most popular marathons in the world. So I just figure I might as well keep applying. I don't really have high hopes that I'm going to make it into this, this lottery drawing. If I do get in, cool. I'll be in great shape and I'm just going to go to to enjoy it. I'm not going to try to get a PR. It's not an easy course, so I don't think I'd get a PR anyway. But um, yeah, just I want to run it at some point in my life. So I figure I might as well start applying for the lottery uh, now. So the lottery opened up today and it is about three hours after it opened up and I'm on the site and it says the application window and guaranteed entry claim period for the 2024 TCS NYC marathon is open and we are experiencing higher than normal web traffic. So, so many people are trying to enter into the lottery for the chance to run the New York City Marathon that the website has like this queue. So I've been on this screen for like 15 minutes. It says I have about a half hour left before I can actually enter into the lottery. There's really not necessarily a rush. Like I have until March 6th to apply and it's not like the first people who apply have better odds or they get in. It's like, that's just the cutoff. So again, uh, my odds are not great, but I figure I might as well just apply every year until I can get in because it's a bucket list marathon for me for sure. So I will check back in when I am uh, when I'm at the front of the queue. So I'll see you then. OK, so I am back. I am at the front of the line. I'm ready to apply. I'm hitting apply, apply. I agree. I agree. I have read and I agree. Filling out my personal information put in my information. I'm not going to read that out loud. Um, if you're accepted in the race through the drawing, your credit card saved as your default credit card will be charged a lot of money. <laughs> Woo! Uh, if you do not have a default card, sit blah, blah, blah. Um, but you again, you're not charged until you actually get into the race. So placing my order, drum roll, please. Thank you for your order. Okay. I am into the lottery. So when do we find out? It is March 28th, 2024. So that is a month from today. Um, so yeah, I'll check back in then. Again, I'm not getting my hopes up, although uh, this does look like an awesome race. It is an awesome race. So yeah, that's the process. It got cold, it's snowing again. It was 60 degrees this morning and now it is below freezing. So yikes, I will probably run tomorrow, early run. So see you then. Good morning, happy Friday. It is a great day for a run. I'm back, had a couple days off. You know, sometimes you don't feel good, you got stuff to do, and you can't run, but that's okay. 
it's a new month, fresh start. I hit my mileage goal for February and now it's March. So that is good. Also, the other thing I'm happy about, I am sick of typing out the word February in that like title card that you just saw. February is such a weird word. I always feel like I spelled it wrong. So typing out March, I don't know, it just feels better. February, weird spelling. Nice. The ice rink is down. This year they did it different where it was on like pillars. So I don't think they have to replace the sod, which is cool. Hopefully the porta potties are coming soon because it kind of stinks. Nowhere to go. Nice. Okay, I can't resist. Okay, adios. <laughs> if I had more time, I would do a catch you on the flippity flip shot, but I don't have any time today. Ah, that was a bad one. And the problem is tinted windows. I just saw a tweet from like a Department of Transportation that's like pedestrians need to make eye contact with the driver at an intersection. Let me know how I'm supposed to do that when your Pontiac G6 is completely blacked out. Let me know. Drop a note in the comments, Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. <laughs> I do not feel good today. I'm tired, my heart rate is way up, my legs are heavy, my shoes feel like rocks. I don't know, one of those days. It's nice out, but I don't know. This happens every once in a while. Nice. All right, I'm gonna wrap this run up. Good run. You know, got a little bit better towards the end, but I don't know, just kind of feeling Feeling slow today, that's okay. I got a, uh, tomorrow's Saturday, that's good. Hopefully I'll get a long run in then. So I'll see you then. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is a great day for a run, about 40 degrees outside. The birds are chirping. I'm going 10 today. Got up a little early, kind of a lot early. Got some stuff going on later, so I gotta get my mileage in early. And honestly, I'm coming to love it. I think, I'm gonna make a very declarative statement here. I'm a morning person, which has never been the case in my life, but I think I've I think I've done it. I think I'm actually a morning person. And that's my monologue for today. There's really two things that have helped me become a morning person. Number one, having kids will do that. Like I just I can't I can't sleep in. Two, a little trick, whether you have kids or not, the thing that has made waking up early really easy for me is not setting an alarm on my phone, but I bought these smart light bulbs. The brand I have is GE, and you can program the light bulbs to come on at a certain time, which is awesome. And you can set a certain time for them to slowly like get brighter, kind of ramp up the light. It works really well. I think there's something like wired in our brains to wake up when it's light out. This is just a much less jarring way to wake up versus a uh, like an alarm clock. Now just a warning, if you get the GE bulbs, the app is not good. <laughs> it's called Sync. It's super buggy, but once you set your schedule, um, it's, it's fine. It just runs automatically. You can pick different times at different days. It's nice, but actually using the app, kind of a, kind of a not great experience, but anyway, that is my trick for waking up. So check that out. I'll link them in the description below, but yeah up early anyway 10 miles today which is a long time to run which is why i'm hoping that the farmer's market bathrooms are open uh because we're in that gray zone between uh porta potties porta potty seasons <laughs> they have disappeared they will return and also someone pointed out in my last video that i talked about bathrooms there is a bathroom coming to centennial commons in royal oak here's the rendering looks great very excited for this much needed not just for me as a runner but changing diapers you know letting people do business excited for that but that's probably going to be a couple years away so our hope rests on the farmer's market bathrooms being open i think they should be so i can make it until then woodpecker that's a that's a good summer sound all right let's see All 
right, that was good. Uh, it was open, so. The changing table was broken in there. So, all the more need for real, maintained, widely available bathrooms. So, anyway, the bathroom chapter is now closed. And now we move on to the uh, last four miles or so. All right. Taxi. Nice. All right, I'm gonna wrap this run up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run tomorrow. Um, we'll see, see what my schedule's like. Um, if I do run tomorrow, I'll see you then. If I don't run tomorrow, uh, thanks for watching episode 62. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.